Hey everybody, video here for you today. I thought we would document another Ancient America site. Now a lot of these, a lot of people have never heard of. Maybe some of you have heard of this one, but we are going to go down to just south of Phoenix, Arizona today. And this is what this looks like. Now nothing to be seen here. This is a place where the desert has pretty much covered up these ruins. But this is just south of the city of Phoenix here. And this site was excavated in the 1930s, 1960s today. Nothing can be seen from overhead. The desert has pretty much covered this place up. There is one thing you notice right here. And this might have been one of the ball courts they uncovered here. And there's been a lot of ball courts uncovered in Arizona. Let's just go to a few uh, websites and read a little. But when they did excavation work here over 50 years ago, this is what was found. Rooms, buildings kivas i guess you'd call them mounds and just a whole bunch of stuff here there was ancient canals we'll take a look at one of them here here is one of the canals they excavated and this really brought life to this area brought in water but here is a documentary film i found that was made in the 1960s of the excavation work here pretty cool what they found different things those canals and just their overall excavation work here. Thought it was pretty cool. Here are some of the figurines and pottery and jewelry that were found here, but I will leave this link below. Now here is a pic of one of the ball courts say on Earth in the 1960s. Could be the one that we saw on Google Earth there, but the desert has kind of swallowed these up. Is there any difference between the ball courts here and the Mayan and the Olmec ball courts? Nope, same game. Now, I was really surprised how many of these lost, what they call ball courts, are in Arizona. Now, how many Mayan and Olmec ball courts have you seen in videos or documentaries? Well, there are over 200 of them in Arizona alone. Now, here's a Hohokam ball court at the Los Horno site in what is now Tempe. This was taken about 40 years ago. Ball court, Arizona, Tempe. And here is another one. You can kind of make it out right there. And that is near Reddington, near an ancient site there. Here is a website I will leave below. The mystery of the Hohokam ball courts. Hohokam or Hohokam. Uh, that's coming out two different ways in my head here. It says more than 200 ball courts have been found in Arizona. For decades, archaeologists have been trying to understand why they are there and what purpose they served. Now, going back over 3,000 years, and the Olmec, the Maya, the Aztecs, the ball court, and the ball game was a defining activity of Mesoamerican culture, was rich in symbolism, and the gods were involved. And if you want to leave your comments on what exactly the ball game involved and the symbolism it represented, go ahead. But it seemed to fit their mythology in certain stories. Now, here is a video I did three or four years ago, Rock Art and History of Gila Bend. And I just was reviewing this last night. A lot of really cool rock art in this area. And I guess some of it has been getting vandalized, like many other places around America. But a lot of cool symbolism in these uh, petroglyphs here. But I will leave the link for this video below and a couple others. And right here at the end of this video when they did the overhead shot, I noticed one of those ball courts covered up by the desert sand right here. Most likely what that is right there. Here is an interesting article from Archaeology Magazine, Insider Phoenix Looming Water Crisis. And here you see the ancient canals of the Hohokam people just south of the airport here. Ancient canals still visible. Here it talks a little bit about the canals of Snake Town. It says Emil Hari, who originally excavated the site of Snake Town in 1934, 1935, returned again in 1964 and 1965, and that's him there standing. It says the canal systems began at the river where Weir raised the water level and directed it into the canal. A head gate regulated the amount of water passing into the system. From there, water flowed along large distribution canals that were up to 85 feet across and 20 feet deep. The size of the canal diminished away from the river, a technique that ensured an even water flow. A steady flow ensured that too rapid a current did not erode away the earthen sides. So ancient canals here in Arizona, maybe built a thousand years ago. 
Also found at Snake Town, 50 pyrite mirrors, and they have this symbolism. This is a artist's rendition of the symbolism that was on the back of them. And I talked about a pyrite mirror found in the tomb of the Vulture King about two weeks ago. Well, they had pyrite mirrors in this symbolism in Arizona. But pyrite mirrors that were also found in a tomb in Guatemala, found up here in Arizona, in the mystery of the Hohokam ball courts. Are these things really a mystery? Well, a long time ago, there wasn't a border, a southern border of the United States. These people didn't care where a future country was going to be centuries down the line. This culture spread all the way north into present-day United States, so I don't think it's that big of a mystery. Just south of Phoenix, the Hohokam people, and I think that's how you say it, left rock art here way before the present-day city of Phoenix was built. But a pretty impressive city existed here, maybe going back 1,500 years or further. There was a very impressive ball court here. There was a smaller one here today. This is what it looks like. This is located just south of present-day Phoenix in Arizona. The southwest was full of ancient cities that went back 1,000, 2,000 years. Hope you thought that was cool, and you all have a very nice day.